Hello beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess, you guys. So welcome, welcome, my loves. This is going to be current energy for March. Scribe or writer, Aries. Happy freaking birthday season. I am so pumped for your guys' uh, birthday season. I love Aries energy. I'm an Aries uh, rising and Aries moon, okay? So I have that Queen of Wands fire energy, right? But I'm a Libra sun. I also have that Queen of Swords too. But I get that Queen of Wands fire. And I feel that so many of you who are watching this, masculines, you guys are in your King of Wands energies. And feminines, you guys are super in your Queen of Wands energy. Um, and it's really beautiful. So anyways, I'm just kind of starting off with a little bit of past life oracle because there's a lot of past life stuff coming up right now. A lot of past life memories, soul retrieval, um, soul memories coming up, um, stuff that's affecting us in this lifetime from our past lives. Okay. So for many of you guys, you're writers, you love to write, you love to journal, you write beautiful poetry. Um, maybe you write songs, music, maybe you've written that, right? Um, it's your, it's a form of expression for you is writing. Now for Aries, you guys get a little, um, worked up, right? Can be a little temperamental. Maybe it can be a little hard for you to get things out at times verbally. So you write it down. Okay. This is something that's not new to you. There's a candle in this picture and it has this flame burning. Okay. Um, And there's this unbroken seal with this letter, news, announcement, right? Something here about um, news that's coming in, okay? I need to shut my window. There's like a bunch of like, I know, it's so weird. Randomly out of nowhere, there's like cars driving by. Okay, persecution and inquisition. Ooh, okay, Aries. For a lot of you guys, you, you know, watching this, you, you, you've been persecuted in past lives. For some of you guys, you were persecuted because you, you had knowledge, you had knowledge and you, you wrote this knowledge out. It was like sacred knowledge or something, knowledge that someone wanted. Okay. You were persecuted. Questioned. One more for Aries. You guys are very loyal. Orphan. You could have been orphaned. You could have orphaned a child. Maybe you were a mother, father, right? And when you were persecuted, you were put to death possibly. And you orphaned children or a child. This is about abandonment. Many of you guys watching this, you have abandonment wounds from past lives because you were orphaned. Okay? Maybe your parent was persecuted or something, right? It doesn't have to be, but you know, just kind of, I'm just throwing out a bunch of scenarios because I'm reading for a lot of you. Either way, you guys have this, this phobia, this phobia, this fear of people leaving your life. And for a lot of you guys, it's because you were orphaned. For some of you guys, you were orphaned in this lifetime. Maybe you were adopted, right? Okay leaving our travel, something about the, it's about the destination. I mean, it's about the journey, not the destination. That's what I'm hearing. So Aries, you're, you're, you guys are being called to, to enjoy life more, to stop, um, you know, spirit saying, stop allowing fear phobias to stop you from pursuing things. Maybe you have a fear of flying on airplanes. So you don't fly, you know, you've always wanted to go to Italy, but you're afraid to fly across, you know, you're afraid to go on an airplane, you're afraid to fly across the water. This is your time, Aries. You guys are not fearful. You guys are known to be, you know, you guys are the ram. You guys are known to be, you, you, you hit life head on, even when you're unsure, right? So spirit's really calling out to you in this moment. And that's kind of how this is connected. So let's just get some, um, let's get into some love. Okay. This is all tied in. I did say I saw the flame, um, you know, in this picture and it was really drawing me in. And then the unbroken seal, 444 on the timestamp, right? As I'm saying this. So for many of you guys, this is someone you've known in past lives. Could be a past life soulmate or a twin flame, right? Either way, this is someone who you've, you've corresponded with, you've, 
you've written love notes with. You guys have written love letters to one another. Maybe you live at a physical distance. Oh, I told you, I told you, I told you, Aries. Past life relationship. This is a past life love. Someone from your past is returning. Someone that you've known before. You've known each other before in past lives. This oracle that I started out with is literally past life oracle. I've been feel, feeling called to do past life energy with the starting out with the zodiacs. Leave a comment below, my loves. Let me know how this is resonating with you. I love past life shit. It's so cool. So, yeah. Neat. All right. What else for Aries? Forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This is about your past. Past life relationships, past life love, things that have happened to you in the past that have caused you to be scared, phobic of certain things. This is about facing your fears, releasing things, hitting life head on. And it feels like this is someone, Aries, that one, is seeking your forgiveness. Two, could have abandoned you. Maybe they triggered you. Maybe your person, maybe this person, this past life person or this person that's returning from your past maybe this person is the one with the with the phobia of abandonment because they've been left behind okay we see the train tracks here this could be um important to you but this is definitely about a journey this is about movement forward this is about starting fresh Make the effort. See, someone wants to make the effort with you, Aries. Someone from your past is returning. They realize that this is some kind of great love. And they want to take any risk that they that they, you know, have to take. They they're they're being guided to you. Um, they feel guided to you. It literally says the steps you're guided to take. So spirit, synchronicity, signs, whatever it is, it's guiding them back to you. And I say back to you because this is a past life love. This is someone that you've already known. For some of you guys, they did. They they maybe ghosted, abandoned. You know, they 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 let your inner. I feel like that for for you guys, Aries. This is your guys' energy here. Okay, this is your inner child here, and then this is you now as an adult, man or woman, whatever. But this is for many of you guys watching. You are a woman. You're feminine. A woman in your feminine energy too, right? So this has caused, it triggered your inner child. You know, it's like you felt safe with this person and you felt safe to start opening up with this person or open up with this person. And you are the one that like, you know, was making an effort possibly, right? Anyways, there's a reason why this person is wanting for, is wanting forgiveness. They learned some lessons here and see spirit above them. Spirit's been guiding this. Why? Because you guys are, you know, you guys have known each other in past lives. You guys have some kind of history. You guys have some kind of lessons here together. You guys have some kind of, you know, maybe you guys are meant a soul contract to be fulfilled. Whatever it is. Love yourself first. And then new love. Bottom of the deck. It just fell out actually. But it was on the bottom of the deck. It says someone, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This is literally your person a past life person. Now, for some of you guys, maybe you haven't even met this person yet. Maybe you maybe you had to learn some lessons of forgiving and learning and, you know, um, of not being so afraid of abandonment and things of that nature, right? And maybe this past life love, this past life soulmate comes in to make the effort and spirit's saying, hey, don't be scared, Aries, when this happens, okay? You've learned to love yourself first. Forgive the past. You've learned. There's this new love coming in and we want you to embrace it, okay? But for the majority of you guys, this is definitely someone that you've already known in this lifetime and you've known in previous lifetimes, okay? You guys have this really flirty, fun um, chemistry and energy between the two of you. It says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Hmm. Aries, you guys might be doing that and maybe this person... Is scared is what I'm getting they want to make an effort here free yourself it's time to take back control of your life someone's been living unhappily someone who's high vibrational high frequency someone who 
is really good at manifesting things into their life. Like pretty much whatever they man, what they want, they will manifest into their reality. But for some reason, this person's been stuck. A magical high frequency person being has kept themselves stuck in some kind of loop or whatever, right? Okay. This could be the one. You've already you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah. This is definitely someone from your past Aries who maybe they had to free themselves from a situation. Look at free yourself. Maybe they had to free themselves from a situation. Maybe your person had to learn to love themselves first. Okay? Maybe they're the ones that had to learn to forgive their past and heal their past, right? Either way, someone's coming back and they're like, you're it, Aries. I think this is the one. I think you're the one. All right. So let's get some tarot. Spirit for Aries, please. For Aries. This is Book of Shadows Tarot. Um, the Book of Shadows Tarot has two volumes. They have volume one, which is a deck of As Above. And then they have the deck So Below. This is the So Below deck of the Book of Shadows. And I love it. Okay. For Aries, Spirit. For Aries, tell me about this past life, this past life relationship. Tell me about the orphan. Tell me about phobia. Tell me about this new journey. You know, for some of you guys, this person could have been on the defense for some reason at the time. I don't know. But with the persecution, I am getting someone who felt like they were under, like, um, like they were being questioned or they were afraid to be questioned or something along the lines of that. Not that you would, but I'm just getting this like thing where maybe they were dealing with that in a previous relationship. Okay. Maybe they were used to feeling this like chained up. I can't breathe. Love sucks kind of energy. You know, maybe that's what this was. Their own phobia got in the way of this. We have the crone of water. This is someone who has learned lessons. They are now much wiser, way more mature, and they're taking a very mature, wise approach to love and their emotions. This is also the end of some kind of love situation, possibly. Like I said earlier, Aries, maybe your person had to free themselves of, of a situation. Energetically, physically, you guys will know your situations. The Maiden of Fire. Okay, this person, they're bringing a crone wise energy approach to, to this connection now. They've learned a great deal about love and you and whatever it is, but they're feeling this is the only choice. This is the wise choice. This is the choice I need to make to bring closure to this situation with Aries. And then the maiden of fire. I mean, this is you. Remember, I was talking about the queen of the queen of fire, the queen of wands earlier in your power. This is you. There you are, as the maiden energy, young, beautiful, full of life, radiant, confident. You know, even if you're not like physically like at a young age, you know, it's your energy about you. It's just the way this person feels, how they feel towards you when they look at you. Oh my gosh, it's the lovers, you guys. Beltane, look at that. We oh my God, we love it. This is literally the kind of energy that we're in at this time of the year, you know. The lovers is extreme magnetic attraction. This for me with the maiden of fire and everything else that we have here with the past life energy, the past life oracle. This is definitely um, this past life soulmate and or a twin flame. Someone's made a choice. They've chosen you, Aries. I'm literally seeing this as I choose you. I choose you. They've they've put they've they've put the fire out somewhere else. See her fire is out, the crone. Or the water, sorry. It's it's the end. The end is the beginning. Something has has is is still lit. Something has never gone out, Aries. It's as if like your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, even people around you guys who know you guys and who have seen you guys together or know this connection. It's like they're cheering you on. They're rooting for you. 
They want to see you guys in union and harmony and marriage and, and all the things. It's like everyone's saying you guys belong together, Aries. Look at this. Ten of Earth. You guys absolutely do. There's this strong magnetic draw. It's completion. And then there's the crown of fire. See, there's, you know how I was just saying her fire was out? Because I was thinking this was the crown of fire and it was the crown of water. Look who comes out, the crown of fire. Everything I say is for a reason, Aries. And see, look, her fire is out. See, I told you guys. Someone wants to bring closure to this. The element of water. What this does, this is like an enhancement of emotions and love and, and, and intuition that is flooding this reading all of a sudden with the element of water. And then you get the mother of fire. I mean, you can't make it up. You have the mother maiden and the crown of fire. This is about evolution. This is about a journey. This is about the phases that you've been through with this person. This is how this person views you. You are very wise, but you're young at heart. You're very beautiful. You're sexy, radiant, in your power, confident, sensual, sexy. You are the high priestess to this person. You may work with fire, elemental magic, You've lit a fire in this person, Aries, with your fire. You could be dealing with an earth sign and they can't get enough of you. They literally feel like you're living your best life. We have a six of water coming out as well. Again, past life soulmates. This is someone who typically stands alone. They're very wealthy probably. Again, could be an earth sign, but they stand alone. They have a lot of people who look up to them. All right, so let's get some messages for Aries. Wow, this was meant to be a short, short reading. Not short, short, but you know, like 10 minutes. I want to do life with you, see? They're coming in. Aries, they miss you. We have the swans here. Absolutely, this could be a twin flame. This could be something about, you know, the evolution. Maybe you guys have been in twin flame separation. Maybe, again, your person had to learn some lessons, free themselves from some codependent behaviors. Oh, holy shit. Right as I'm saying that, look what comes out. Codependent behaviors, toxic ego. Right as I'm saying your person had to free themselves from things like that. That's a confirmation. I keep myself stuck. Yeah, they were keeping themselves stuck. See, it's everything I was saying. This person is a, is a really amazing, incredible human being, and they have a high vibe and they're and they're successful and they're all these things but they were allowing their karmic energy to keep them in a low vibe situation with a karmic or karmic scenario situations quantum leaps they're coming in fast the universe is guiding you guys guiding this person i'm with a karmic but i'm in love with you see aries your person is definitely with a karmic and dealing with that kind of situation backstab betrayed and deceit wow ten of swords this is what the, this your person's been dealing with. Karmic energies are trying to throw you off. Okay, that's what's been happening here. Pisces energy. We just got out of Pisces season, so maybe, you know, um, the Pisces energy of the Pisces season, Neptune, um, you know, illusion, dreams, all the things. It. I feel like it really helped your person or this person cut through and push through the illusions of their life. Okay? All right. So I'm just going to get one um, Priestess of the Light Oracle for Aries, please, for Aries Spirit. What does Aries need to know? It's your Divine Masculine, Electric Active Power. Look at that. Eight. We have the Infinity Symbol showing up. Your Masculine Aries, whether it's a woman or a man, doesn't matter. Your Divine Masculine Aries has awoken. They are standing strong in their power. Look at that beautiful energy. And look at this hidden knowledge is about to come to light Akashic Records. So I just recently posted on the community page, you guys, that I do offer Akashic Record past life readings. It's $180 for an hour. I only offer one hour sessions for that because it is different than a, than a regular psychic reading. So if that is something that you're intrigued about, and I actually posted this card 
on the on the post. And this is what Spirit was telling me. They said, you need to share this with the collective. So 52 could be an age, okay? It breaks down to a seven. So we literally have seven and eight. And then we have clairvoyancy showing up. So your 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 divine masculine, you guys, Aries, you guys are definitely tapping in and, and it's kind of like remembering past life stuff, soul memory. Um, there's a clairvoyant, um, clairvoyancy, spiritual gifts, you know, but this is about inspiration, interpretation, interpretation and trust, excuse me. Your divine masculine is seeing things and feeling things on a whole nother level. So this is what I have for you, my lives. I hope that this reading resonated with you. I'm sure that it did. Um, again, thank you guys for your support here on YouTube. If you want to book a personal reading session with me, I am still taking personals at this time. Um, you can find the info below in the description box. Pricing is all there. If you feel guided, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Um, thank you to those of you who have donated to the channel. You guys mean the world to me. I send you so much love and light. Namaste, Aries.